We've got a document then that in my case now went all the way up to um, 114, no, sorry, uh, 129 lines. I've got about 120 line, 29 lines at this point. And uh, remember, this is going to be a, this is going to be a single page app. All of our different screens are going to be in this one document. We've got the pieces. We don't have the sections yet. So let's think about what we're about to do because we can easily make mistakes here. What we're about to do is create two new sections. If I remember back on our wireframe, we have a design like this. Header, nav, content, footer for home, art, PC. I need to create two more of those. I've got one so far, home. And I need to create two more. We can do that from what we've already got with a little bit of copying and pasting. Let me tell you first, so watch how we're going to do it, then we'll do it. We can copy and paste. So first, here's how I would do it again. We'll do it together in a moment. I would copy from section all the way to uh, article, role, main, heading 2. I would copy that whole thing and then at the bottom after section paste it because that's the beginning part of this right here. What I just copied and pasted was like all of this right here. Then I would copy and paste in the part that's missing, which is end of section, article, and footer, and paste it in right here. So now what I've got there would be a whole new section which would need a new ID. That I think is going to be faster than trying to type all of this. We weren't able to make different sections in the free version of Codica. The paid version you could. We'll have to do something like this. So let's walk us through it together now. We're going to copy a big chunk, paste it at the end, copy another chunk, paste it at the end, and it's a brand new page. Let me back up. If you go to about line 24, there's a comment here, which actually I want to change that comment to say home screen. What follows is the home screen. What will be useful actually is, is we make a comment of where our home screen starts and where our home screen ends. So let's do this actually before we copy and paste. Home screen start. What follows is the start of the home screen. I now want to go to where the home screen ends and add a comment that says home screen end. This is totally optional, but it'll be very useful for me when I'm looking at the big picture that I've got a little marker there. So at the bottom, line 127, I need to write home screen end. These visual clues like this might help me out. So that was just to um, mark something off. What well, we need to copy and paste. I'll back up again. I'm going to start at line 24. I'm going to click and drag and select downward to start to select more. Uh, if you if you do this actually, if you click from the numbers, the line numbers, click and drag, it's going to select the whole line. It's the same as in the actual code selecting, but the problem is that if you don't select the whole end of the line, it won't, it won't select the whole end of the line. If you're dragging from the numbers, it selects the whole line. And we need to select starting from the comment, past the section, past the header, past the ending of the header, 
into the start of the article and we will take it to the heading 2. In my case, line 54. So it's 24 to 54. Those 30 lines define the header, nav, and starting content of a section. All of that there, I will right click and copy. Scroll all the way down. There's our marker that says this is the end of the home screen. Line 128. Press enter a couple of times. Line 129. I'm going to paste everything that I've copied. Everything that I've copied is the beginning of a new section. <coughs> Art screen start. In my case, it was 24 to 54. 24 where the comment starts, down to 54 where heading 2 ends. So I pasted it in at the end. I changed the comment because now this is the art screen start. So I have like the top half of something and the bottom half, which is this part here. So now I need to select the ending comment, line 127, back up to the section, back up to the footer, footer, end of the article. So the end of the article there, the main section, the main screen, getting the footer, getting the end of the section, getting the end comment, copy that. And then now here, what's missing is article starts, paste right there, article ends, footer starts and ends, section ends, art screen end. This is a brand new section based on existent code. In my existent code, I had gone in and fixed up the divs into the proper tags. I went in and changed a couple of things there, here and there. What I want to make sure I also fix is make sure you go back to the start of your brand new art section and set its ID to art. Very important. <coughs> IDs, remember, because they're CSS, only one thing in the whole document can be set to an ID. The home section has an idea of home. Nothing else can. <coughs> so, of course, art section should have an idea of art. And that will also cause these buttons that, are, that have been waiting here. Home button is pointing to home section. Art button was pointing to art section. Now an art section exists. To see if this is working, save it and run it. You should be able to click your art button and it goes to this rather empty art screen. Let's see. Home screen, art screen. Not too much of an indicator of the, it's the art screen. The art button is not highlighted. No other text has art. But Content-wise, there's my home screen with everything. There's my art screen with nothing yet, but the structure is there. Yes, that might have been complicated. Let's do a little pause to see if you got it or not. Call me over. Anyone need a little help to get that? A lot of copying and pasting, and you can miss it, definitely. So we've got a screen of art content a screen of home content. The art screen has a section of ID art and now we might as well add its header, its H1, something meaningful, art 
classes that'll be displayed for the user. When you're on the home screen, the home button is active to let people there to let people know they are there. In the art screen, it would be nice that the art button is active to let people know that they're there. We have that ability right here. Class UI button active. It's an attribute. A tag angle bracket starts, A tag angle bracket ends right there. If you simply, here's a mistake people make. People select that and cut it, and then paste it right there. Two problems. Anyone see the two problems? Angle brackets. I cut and paste the angle bracket that closes the A tag. No closing angle bracket. I pasted it right there. Now there's a closing angle bracket and there's a closing angle bracket. So copying and pasting, cutting and pasting the whole thing just like that isn't quite what you want. You want to only cut without the angle bracket. If I cut that, I left the angle bracket, and then if I make a new line here and paste, I got it, right? Angle bracket again. No angle bracket ending here because it's up here. It's not an attribute of that anymore. So back that up, and at the end of that line, enter that, then paste it. And now this line is exactly how that line was. I left that angle bracket alone to close the A tag, and then this ends with an angle bracket because I moved it down from here. So now this has active persist class on art. And so if I view it, I go to art, art is active and highlighted. Home is active and highlighted. I don't have a computer screen yet. says art classes here. This still says header. I need to fix that eventually. Making a making a page three, making a, a computer's screen is actually much faster and easier now that I've created an empty sort of template screen. Home screen is full of a bunch of stuff. Art screen is is basic. And I need some screen now for computers. I, I have that from the beginning of art screen start to the end of art screen end. That is a complete page now. I can copy and paste that and change the appropriate things. So copying from about what, line 129 to about 168, all of that encompasses my art screen section. So I would copy that, paste it after Paste it after the art screen end. Now that's computer's screen start. Data roll page ID computers. Because I've got a nav bar with that link. And therefore, this heading one now computer classes. And this nav now needs the exact same thing. Now I need to move over the class away from art and over to computers in the computer section. Again, yes, it's very easy to lose track of all of this because now we're dealing like in three dimensions. Home screen, art screen, computer screen. Each one has a nav bar. Where's my class on the proper thing? Copy and paste, move here and there. Yes, this can be confusing, especially in the beginning. 
we've only got a three screen project at the moment. Not so bad. Later on, we can have a more complex one. And then at the very end, I'm setting that as computer's screen end. If I see my result, home screen has everything. Art screen simply says art classes. Computer screen, computer classes. And all of these buttons up here work. They're consistent because I created the nav bar, set my animation, and just reused it over and over. So all of them have that animation. What I could have done, now that I realize it, I did realize it, of course, but I want you to do it the long way. You never set the footer. What if I wanted to set one particular message, like a copyright notice, on all screens? I could have, I should have done that from the very beginning. I should have set a copyright as at the very beginning, and then when I did copy and paste, it came through. But now, you get to use find and replace. So, however you get to do that, you can change that to a copyright notice or anything else at the bottom. The safe way to change all the footers at once, if you simply if you simply select the word footer and then you're going to replace that with a copyright, that will probably cause you problems. There is more than one place where the word footer is used. So that'll become copyright slash copyright. Data role equals copyright. H4 equals footer. So you wouldn't want to do that you have match case. Only one place in the document has a capital footer. Everything else is lowercase. So if I search for capital footer and match case, you have to turn that on or it'll ignore your capital. Turning on match case should then only replace three instances of footer. You see here, without match case, there are 12 instances of footer. With match case, there are three. Find and replace all instances of photo with copyright. Ampersand, copy, semicolon, 2016, whatever name you want here, VMC apps, LLC. Match case, replace all, and now all over on my footer. copyright. Based on what we have seen in our example site, home art computers. You should see that on the art screen we have the collapsible element and on computers we have the list view. What we're gonna do is I'm going to end the main lecture at this point um, and give you a little classwork if you'd like which is you now need to move the list divider into the computer's screen, the collapsible element to the art screen. If you'd like to, you can then also move the picture or copy the picture to the other screens if you'd like. And then we have this grid divider. I would say copy the grid block to all three of those screens. It's useful on all three of them. That'll be your challenge. We did it together like this, copying and pasting and creating these screens. Hopefully you got to this point. We still have plenty to do, of course, but I'm going to end the main lecture at this point, and now you take what we've learned over from Kodika and move these to the right screens. It's a little cut and paste. Question? Isn't that the best way when you're working with Kodika? The best way is using Kodika, the full version, where I can create each screen and download all the code. That's the best way. 
we have to do a variation of this in that we have to cut and paste like you're saying or like how we're doing we have to do we have to do it some way and whatever is fastest for a person or more comfortable is the right way it is kind of cumbersome here I admit but that's okay we can take it we need to divide it up here so we're gonna end the main lecture any final general questions I'm gonna also myself move them to the right place and put my final version of today's code in the folder in just a moment I would like you to try to do what I'm asking you to do, and then if not, then get my copy of my code. But try it. The weekend's coming up. Do this stuff. Go back to Kodika. Check it out. Try to download that seven-day free trial. Um, see how that works. Maybe check out the new Ionic Creator. Whatever you want to do. Practice this stuff is the point. Maybe just take this code and practice with it. Start from scratch. Challenge yourself. We'll pick it up again on Tuesday and go and go further. We have this content to set up and, and such. And then before you know it, part one of the class ends. And then it's right away into turning it into a real app. Practice over the weekend. Get my code in a moment. Rewatch the videos. If you've asked me for the videos, I believe I've replied to everyone. If I haven't, I will get to it as soon as possible. Watch the videos again over the weekend and practice this. So try to fulfill that challenge and then I'll See you next time.